Hey everyone, this is Andres for the Newsreel again, and I wanted to do a quick video, as quick as I could, um, regarding questions that I've been getting asked about how do I get Android or Google services on BlackBerry 10. So that's this guy right here. How do I get the Google Play Store running on here, especially if it can't run without Google services? And that's why this is a patched version of the Google Play Store with some other apps that rely on Google services also requiring some patching. Now, I'm not going to show you how to install it here, but I'm going to leave a link in the description below for someone else that I already done a video on how to get the uh, patched Android services or Google services onto your uh, BlackBerry 10 device that's running 10.3.1 or point two and above it has to, it's a specific build and above that has to uh, you have to run on your phone in order to get this so besides that I'm also gonna leave a link in the description below on where you can get the tools that you need they're just APKs there's no side loading or anything like that it's just APKs that you need to install on your BlackBerry device in order to run um, Google Play so let's see here let's, let's check some stuff out real quick so you know, look at the my apps and games and see if I get any updates alright so before I show you anything else I'm gonna install one of these apps in real time I'm not gonna do any editing here but uh, there's three particular apps that had to be patched and cannot be updated through the store they have to be updated uh, manually via APK when they're patched by the developer whoever does that and that's Google Photos which works Google Play Games if you wanna play games that you download from the Google Play Store and YouTube now I installed YouTube here and I'm going to show you YouTube so there's YouTube this is the latest uh, um, user interface of YouTube as you can see they forced upon us the whole trending tab this updated all on its own I didn't do anything it just came with it now <clears throat> the you do have to sideload a patched version of it and it's a it's gonna be available on the links in the description below to cobalt at the crackberry the forms at the crackberry.com site so you can get it everything from there it just won't update from here excuse me wrong button it won't update from here but it will always show you there's an update available as for the other apps that do not need to be patched such as for example VLC I'm gonna show you you update just as you would on an Android device or an, even a BB10 device but since it's an Android app running on BlackBerry those of you that know you would have to go to the Android app installer as well which is this one so then you press another button update so it's installing and then you press accept it's like how many times you gotta press accept that's like four times already but hopefully no more than that and once this guy is done installing, there we go. So now he's he's good, and we open, and it should launch without a problem. It should launch without a problem. It's just being a little slow. I just restarted my phone just so I can have a clean um, update for filming. Oh, check that out. Okay. So it's either not running or it's taking a little too long. There we go. Google Voice. It's got nothing to do with this. All right. So cool. It looks like it's it's working. Took longer than I like, but uh, whatever. All right, just just a quick rundown. Um, this is the Android runtime player. So if you don't like this black bar down here, you can make it go away. There are certain applications that are built for portrait uh, devices. As you can tell, this is a perfect square on BlackBerry uh, Passport. So that and the classics and such. So that will make it a little difficult when you have. When you have apps that are scaled for a 4.3 or a 16.9 ratio, they're not meant for a 1.1. So if you can't see anything here, then that's when you drag from the bottom up from the top down and you can resize it to say this one, which is suitable for games, and then it'll change the layout of it so then you'll be able to see everything. The reason I mention that is because sometimes there'll be um, some apps that you launch for the first time and you won't be able to see the the login or even get to the radio buttons for you to proceed onto the next screen so you can use the app sometimes the scrolling won't help either you have to literally um, fix the ratio on the Android player in order to advance to the next screen now I don't have an app to show you that but I'm letting you know now so now let's check out how Google Play Music works out here on 
uh, my BlackBerry Passport. I don't have the pass, but as I understand it, it's supposed to be able to work here as well. This device does register on the Google services, so let's check that out too. Um, there it is. Sorry for the shaking here. Just not sure why it's on the tripod. The camera's on the tripod, but it's still shaking. All right, manage downloads. Where are we? Ah, manage your devices. Okay. All right, so it appears right here. Command Berry, that's my Blackberry. So it appears here, registers on your Android, on your uh, Google uh, devices. So apps that are essential that you'll need are Google Settings, the mobile network, BlackBerry Google ID, and Google account. These two in particular allow for access into the Android settings, the systems that you can't reach via the uh, the settings on the BlackBerry 10. So this is to get to the Android specific settings of your Android runtime. And here you can see the accounts. In my case, I have a Dropbox that I downloaded. Of course, Google because how else did I get Google services in here? I have the um, Office. OneDrive and PayPal applications that I installed here and they all register within let me see if they pull up yeah it's synchronizing and such so that's the Android settings so under settings under accounts third party you can see that it's picking up my Android apps that I installed from the Google Play Store and the, de and the device reads them like well normal apps that are already installed so when I say let's go to uh, let's see if I have pictures or anything here Okay, I have a picture of grass. Okay, so when I go ahead and share it, it's going to pick up Line. If you're familiar with Line, is a app similar to BlackBerry Messenger. That's an Android application that I installed here through the Google Play Store. Mega, Skype, WhatsApp, and all these others. Um, this connect to OneDrive. That's from BlackBerry 10. But there is there is OneDrive specific app, Box, Dropbox. Uh, actually, this one add to Dropbox these are Android apps and they all appear right here and they work just fine uh, let's see I guess I'll just go to Dropbox let's see if I logged in if it's there yeah I'm logged in so it'll pull up right here and you can in my case upload it and then it'll minimize and then on your hub it should show that it's working and on the hub it should show that it's working of course this always happens when you don't control it and it's filming but there it is oh it's done check that out so these notifications would appear here this is something that's gonna pop up there is a way to shut it off I didn't want to go around with the workaround so I didn't do it myself but you can uh, on those links there'll be descriptions on how to you can get this to stop popping up as frequent me I just dismiss it because well it works anyway as you already saw wait I haven't even played anything for you right all right let's go let's go check out some music so let's listen now all right here Linus and Lucy press play that press play yeah there we go okay so for those of us on Blackberry devices would know that uh, these volume keys over here I'm gonna show you that the play pause does work here play pause it works Let's see if I can rewind. Yes, I can. Let's see if I can skip. Yes, I can. Check that out. So, your music control buttons will still work, even though this is an Android app. And that's pretty cool. For those of, those of you that prefer to use Google Play Music, um, in my case, those that already know, I use Neutron Music Player anyway. But uh, I think I showed you the gist of everything. Oh, by the way, that control of these volume, um, like play pause, it doesn't work on YouTube. You can't play pause a video there. So that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, you can get it working some other time. It, I don't know why it is, but this is the first time in a long time that my apps, my Android apps are are re uh, refreshing in the background as often as they are these this does not happen to me so maybe it's because I just did a refresh and it has to cache some memory I'm not entirely sure but it's behavior that I don't normally experience so there uh, 
I have a lot of of Google applications and uh, applications from the Google App Store installed on my device. As you can see, these are quite a bit of applications. And here, let me show you really quick. Google Docs. Yes, I have it in here. Yes, I can open it. It's synchronized to my Google Drive, and you can open and you can edit. Okay, this is a review that I did on my website for Interstellar. Now, let me see. Here's the edit button. And as you can see, editing functions are all turned on. You can use your prediction engine. You can manipulate what you need to through here with your awesome passport keyboard and the other settings that are there. And it'll save just fine. And you can close it out. You can do that here. I got Sheets, but because my office relies on Microsoft products, that's why I use Office. But because this is runtime, the Android runtime is 4.3, the latest version of Jelly Bean. Unfortunately, I can't get the um, the Office specific apps like Excel or Word and PowerPoint to work here. So I'm using the Office mobile application, which it does the trick for me. It just doesn't have all the cool features that are. I wish I could have with the uh, standalone applications but if I wanted to yes they're here I can work them I can access my OneDrive account and just function from there and I could do that all with the, using my BlackBerry 10 device so that's really cool I think I covered just about everything I wanted to cover to show you how these things do work on BlackBerry 10 so I don't want to bore you with so many details but I Google Play Games is there, Jetpack Joyride, that's an Android application. The rest are BlackBerry 10 built native apps. So let's see, tools, um, nothing for me to show you there. I deleted uh, Google Maps because the latest update broke my functionality here. Yeah, I set the settings for it to work with locations, but for some reason Google just wasn't picking it up. I have Google Voice here. I can't make calls with it. I don't. I, I couldn't get Google Hangouts to work, so I can use my Google Hangouts dialer as well. Uh, but uh, hopefully, someone else will patch it and make it work. But uh, Android, Android, Android. Um, I think that's about it. But those are three Android apps there. And for those of you that want, I really don't care about Facebook. But hey, why don't you install the Facebook app for Android? It's considerably better than the BlackBerry 10 app that hasn't been updated since May 26 of this year. I think I'm right with that date as well. So that's that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to show you. So I hope that uh, gives you an idea how it functions on BlackBerry 10. Again, in the description below, you'll find links to A, Cobalt, the developer that patched the Google services for us to be able to use. He has a donation button for PayPal. So if you feel uh, uh, really grateful, please uh, donate to him as well. I know I've done it, and he's just uh, doing a lot of work to help us enjoy our BlackBerry 10 devices a lot more. And also in the link below would be how to install these applications required, especially if you have two-step verification with, Google, with your Google account, which I was not able to show here. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for checking this video out. You can follow me at The Newsreel if you so choose to. It's literally a newsreel. Um, you can check out my website, www.thenewsreel.info. I have a lot more stuff going on there besides tech stuff, but thanks for checking this out, and have a good one.